is welcome back to tech projects i am back with another video so in this video we are going to see how to create pop buttons like that in under studio so before starting the video let me show a demo what we are going to create today So basically we are going to create these buttons in Android Studio and maybe if you are using CRUD then you see these buttons. So we are going to use the CRUD library but uh, recently I added this in my project so I faced little bit difficulty so I thought I let me tell you how you can add this in your project. So these are very cool buttons and all thanks to CRUD library. So now let's start the video. So for this open your Android Studio and just click on new then new project and empty views activity give any name to your project so I am just giving here create new pop buttons tutorial then click on finish so first of all let me show the library so I will also add this library in description so you can check it out so this is the new pop library from cred and you can see it contain multiple types of buttons so you can add them in your project to make it little bit cool if you want to add some different thing from other apps so there are too much buttons and this this is very amazing library so you can explore it, it as well so to use this in your project first of all open your build.gradle then this is the dependency which you need to add so open copy paste this build.gradle paste it here then open settings.gradle copy paste it settings and paste it here and after this it will add it in your project so this is done so now we can start creating this so first of all i am just replacing this constraint layout to linear layout orientation vertical gravity center background something background white types so just i am giving random background you can give any it is it is totally depend on your project now we will create two types of button here but you can explore other buttons on the library itself so first button which we are going to create is a flat button so you just need to type here pop frame layout so you can see it also contain radio button checkbox toggle so you can explore them so we are just going to create a pop frame layout first this is the flat button now layout with match parent and height you can give any so i am just giving here 60 dp based on it is totally depend on your size then margin start i am just giving here 40 dp margin end i am giving 40 dp and then after this you can give margin top 40 dp just to make it in center a little bit then there are multiple properties of this credit button so first property if you want to set the surface color of this so i just type here center surface color and just type the color which you want so i just typed here black but you can use any then is bottom surface visible so it also contains some bottom surface so if you make it true then it will visible if you make it false then it will not visible so in this button i make it false then there is also right surface in this button because this is our 3d buttons so right surface is also visible so you can it is your choice whether you want to add this or not so right surface I am also making it false but you can make it true then I want to add a stroke in my button so stroke is stroke button so in this you can pass it true then you can pass the stroke color so I am just passing the white then you can pass the stroke width so I am passing here 4 dp then there are shimmer colors shimmers are as you know shimmer are also present on the button so you can add any shimmer color so i am just adding the shimmer color white here then after this another properties are right we already used all properties now let's set the text on this button so just close this just take a text view here then just type here wrap content wrap content text any text of your even choice so i am just keep typing here activate now but you can type anything then text color I am just typing here white and text size I am just typing here 16 SP but you can use any and just type here gravity center so our first button is created successfully here you can see now let me tell you how you can create a 3d animated button tilted button which you see 
so for this you need to take uh, another layout you just type here tilt frame layout so this is the tilt frame layout which will provide this button so match parent and the same properties size height and width and all other things same then after this what we need we have a property is also animate on touch so you can pass it through so when someone you, if you set on on click listener you can also use this property then multiple properties let you can give a different shimmer color on bottom side and on right side it is on your choice so just i am giving here bottom shimmer color something like this random color then set the bottom surface color so bottom surface color so i am just setting it something like a yellow this one then center surface color same color then after this shadow height 4 db you can give any shadow height you can also set the shadow color shimmer duration so let me set shimmer duration so 3000 4000 something i am setting then after this stroke color so i am just setting the stroke color this one then top shimmer color white you can use the same property stroke button true here then just pass a show shimmer and pass the property true so it will so you can see this is 3d button created successfully now inside this you can just take any text view if you want to show so wrap content wrap content layout gravity center and after this then any text so i'm just typing here tap to pay now then text color black and text size i am just typing here 20 sp you can uh, 18 sp let this to be this is done so our this small project is done now let's run this app and see how it is working So you can see our project created successfully and these are 3d buttons and above one is normal button so i hope guys you like this video if you learn something new then please like the video please subscribe the channel and please share the video if you have any question if you have any query just comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video and please share the video so thank you guys see you soon in next amazing video thank you